What is going on right today? We are reviewing the AEW Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive Sting figure. Now I want to give a huge shout out to my man Rob for picking this figure up for me. He found a few in the wild so I did pay him to pick these up. Appreciate him brother. I haven't seen these guys in person yet and I'm happy to report that I think mine arrived before any Walmart pre-orders and I'm pretty sure I didn't pre-order this because I figured I'd find it in the wild or somebody else would that I could find one of these for myself without having to go through the Walmart pre-order system and all that so a huge shout out to Rob man. Appreciate you brother. But today man this is probably one of the most anticipated action figure reviews that I'll do here on this channel today. You guys know I'm a massive Sting fan. If you didn't know, now you know. I love Sting and having the Supreme Collection is very exciting. I cannot wait to dive into it with you. We do have our classic Supreme Edition packaging here and we have a bunch of Sting figures coming later on. We have that Legacy Pack that I'm very excited for. But until we get those figures, this is going to be kind of the end-all be-all Stings. We haven't seen a really good articulated Sting in a while and the track record for these Supreme figures is uncanny. So we're going to find out today, man. But you can't really see it, but at the top, it does have the Supreme logo of course, and then it also has Walmart exclusive on this side. But the front viewing window, I did get I did get two of these, and this one he was looking, uh, you know, slightly to the left. So I said, I'd, I'd review this one. Review the one that kind of has him looking off, and then the one where he's looking more center will be the one I keep in on card, I guess. He's got a mask in there, tons of accessories loaded up on this guy. The trench coat looks immaculate. I'm very excited for this, man, but he does have his name down the bottom. You have 12 pieces. This packaging so damn massive that it runs up on my camera, but you have all of the accessories stored on the side like all the other Supremes. Then on the other side, we do get some cloth goods over here, which is cool. And on the back, we get a shot of Sting, double or nothing, 2021. That's ridiculous. He looks like he's fighting Ethan Page, I think. Signature on the back, all the good jazz. But I don't want to wait any longer, man. I've been waiting on this figure for so damn long. I think it's finally time to crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, put him on the rotating base, and see where this AEW Supreme Collection Sting figure does stand in our collections. And also, I believe this is series number five by itself. There's only one figure per wave now. And we just got the Supreme Kenny from San Diego Comic-Con, the exclusive for 2024. If you guys missed that review, check that out. So getting back-to-back -back Supreme figures of two highly anticipated figures for me is, is a W, man. So we're, we're looking good right here. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's crack Sting out of the packaging, find out what he's about, and see how he fits into our AEW and our WWE action figure collections. So here's the AEW Supreme Sting figure out of the packaging. I did choose kind of the neutral face. I didn't want the paint smearing head sculpt on there. So we're going to play around with those different things. And we're going to experiment with this figure in terms of kind of head swapping and showcasing some of its abilities and its limits and all those different things, man. But so far, so good. You know, we haven't dived, I haven't dove into every single thing. But usually when I unbox a figure, I do pose it around. I, do, I take some time to try to see what's going on with the figure before I dive into the review because I don't think that on the fly, you know, you can really address it. I think the best thing is to kind of, you know, little by little, experiment with the figure, see where it's going, and then as you progress, you can kind of get a better idea of what you're dealing with, and things can change over time. But nonetheless, man, what we're going to do first is dive into the accessories you get with the Supreme Action figure of Sting, and then we'll dive into the Sting figure itself. So let's shut the hell up and do so. So getting into the accessories you get with the Supreme Sting, obviously this is the equivalent of an Ultimate Edition, or a little bit more of, so you do get a slew of accessories, which I don't think the Sting is lacking in in this figure right here. And one of the best accessories is easily this nice entrance coat, and it does does it have that, you know, it's hard to describe, but you know that feeling of like kind of cheapness or it has kind of a free flowing feel to it. And I don't really, I'm trying to describe what I mean, but it has like kind of a weight to it. You see what I'm saying? You know, like sometimes you get some cloth goods from a figure and you'll hold it out and it's like real stiff out here. Look how like it's weighted, man. Like this is very nice quality. Feel how, feel how, reach through the damn screen and feel this thing. You know what I mean? It feels good, man. It has this fake leather or faux leather or pleather or whatever. I don't even know what the hell it is, but it does have the scorpion on the back in red. You have these gold designs. And one thing about it is it does have the gold details, but if you zoom in, this is what I want you to see. Look at the detailing on this stitching right here. I do have a loose thread. I'll have to cut that off. But look at the impressions on the cuffs right there. And then there's also some impressions in the collar. Look at the amount of detail on this damn jacket. I mean, this has to be one of the better accessories we're going to see from any wrestling action figure company this year. And I think they said this was like sublimated, sublimated or something like that. Like, look at it pressed into this fake leather right here. I mean, I feel like if I were to try that myself, I feel like it would catch the whole god dang thing on fire or something. I don't know how they do that, but this is a very impressive coat. This coat is damn good. This may be one of the best trench coats I've ever seen on an action figure, period. And it's it looks damn good on the figure. So, you know, that is nice. And you could probably put this on some other sting if you wanted to. You know, if you wanted to play around with it, maybe an elite sting that you have, I bet you could get away with that. But this is a damn good trench coat. I mean, this is the everything you could possibly want out of a cloth goods. This is what you see. 
see. Now, outside of your trench coat, you do get a short sleeve Sting t-shirt. I do believe this is something we've seen before. I want to say this came on some Sting. I could be wrong about that, but it's just the cross bat. It's got the Sting on there. Pretty cool shirt. I like it. I wish it didn't have the AEW logo just printed right on the front there. I'd buy this shirt if it looked like that. And if it had a small AEW logo right there, but it having the big AEW logo kind of puts it off. But still a cool shirt. You could use it. I'm sure this does stain the figure. So do the old wash technique method if you're looking to, uh, you know, wanting to wear this. A lot of people want me to do a video on that. If you guys want me to do a video on that, I could attempt to do so. But the Sting figure shirt does look damn good. And it says the icon. I just noticed that. It's pretty cool. And you guys know that Sting likes to wear the long sleeve. So you also get a long sleeve shirt, which I'm looking at it. I don't know. Like, I don't know how many of these I'm going to buy. If I see it in person, I'll probably buy a couple more and unbox them both and play around with fix-ups. But what about cutting the sleeves off of one of these? and making like a, I don't know, some sort of muscle t-shirt or something, but it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to put this on the figure just because I worry about the staining, but maybe if I wash it and play around with it, but it does have Velcro on the back, but it's a cool shirt nonetheless, Sting. See how it has the small AW logo? I wish the other shirt was like that. I'd probably purchase it, but yeah, I like this shirt a lot too. And then getting into the head sculpts, which is possibly the most important part, you have him slightly looking off to the right. I wish he was looking a bit more neutral, and I will compare the Unmatched Series 2 head sculpt so you can kind of see the differences here, but this is the Unmatched Series 2. I do definitely like the likeness on the Unmatched Series 2, but they're very similar. And this almost looks like, I don't think it's the exact same as the Unrivaled 13 Sting head sculpt, but it is similar in a lot of ways. But he is slightly looking off to the right. It's possibly the same sculpt, just repainted, but you can see kind of what you're dealing with there. The hair is slightly darker over here. You have some different stuff going on. I think this is from that Double or Nothing matchup from 2021, but you don't get I am going to put this head sculpt onto the figure in this video, but I did want to showcase the differences between this head sculpt that comes on the Supreme and then the normal one. But we also have the beat up face or the, you know, the paint smearing face, which has a really good likeness. I think we've seen this head sculpt with the unrivaled ringside exclusive ring and it looks pretty good as well. Very good likeness. It kind of looks like he has some buck teeth, but I don't mind it. It looks good. It's, you know, kind of like war battle, battle damage, you know, in the middle of the matchup. It looks very nice. We've seen this before from some different companies as well. And last but not least, we have this mouth open kind of talking head sculpt, which I think looks like Sting a hell of a lot. And it's got his traditional face paint, which I like a lot. This is damn good. I like all three head sculpts. You know, all three of them do have a nice likeness, and I, I, I've had a good time with every AEW Jazzwear Sting head sculpt. I think all of them, for the most part, look pretty damn good. But then a very unique accessory is the Sting mask. Now, there's very many, you know, iconic moments, but you can, you know, slide this over the face right there, and you can recreate, you know, the iconic moment there where you remove the mask, and it's just him again. New year, new me. But I like this a lot, and it's big enough that you can put on multiple head sculpts, so I really like this. Very cool and creative accessory. It reminds me of Toy Biz, which is very cool. Just a badass accessory. I like this a lot. I I'm glad they included this. Possibly one of my favorite accessories. And outside of interchangeable hands, we do have his matte bat, which looks very good. And I mean, what is what is Sting without his bat? I mean, he's got to have his bat to hit dingers in the yard and beat the hell out of people with it. So I like this a lot, man. Very, very good right here. For some reason, Sting's bat's just nostalgic for me. I, I, I love it. Looks good. I love, I love the matte color and sculpt as well. I think AEW does a really good job on Sting. And then for his interchangeable hands, we do get the gloved sculpted hands with the scorpions on the back with black pegs. So that's a nice detail. You do have your interchangeable trigger style hands, but this is for his, you know, his bat holding or weapon wielding hands, but they do look like he's shooting a gun. So that is definitely worth mentioning, but he also has the scorpions on the back. And then potentially my favorite hands are the relaxed glove hands, which are very nicely sculpted. I like these a lot because they, they, you can use them for so many different things because, you know, hands on the waist, you know, reaching out, grabbing. I mean, there's so many things you can use them for, but I like these hands a lot. So getting into the Sting figure, starting off the head sculpt, I went ahead and put this head sculpt on it because it's his traditional face paint and it's not neutral per se, but it does have the kind of traditional Sting face paint, or at least the closest we have here. And again, I don't hate this head sculpt. It looks a bit misprinted at, at, at one moment, but it doesn't look that bad, I don't think. You know, the sculpt's nice and everything. You are going to notice on this torso, this is a new Supreme torso. I do have a little bit of schmutz right there on the pectoral. Going to have to take care of that at some point. I did try to wipe it off, couldn't get it off, but you'll notice he does have the butterfly joints in here, and he's a bit chiseled here in the upper chest, but it's pretty broad. It kind of has that old man look to it. You know how it kind of protrudes right there, and everything thing, which is pretty accurate, but again, I don't think you're really going to be able to use this as a 90s Sting or just as a classic Sting. I mean, you may be able to if you fixed it up or, you know, did a torso swap or did something like that, but I'm not getting that here. I think that you are going to be able to use this as an older guy Sting, but you can see there on the chest, but the arms look pretty good. The singlet looks good. On the back, I do have a little bit of schmutz on the back there as well, but I don't think it's necessarily staining. I think it's just kind of your traditional problems or paint app stuff that you get with any figure, really, but you do have the scorpions on the side going down, which is good. Good, clean paint apps there. Torso feels a little bit hollow up here, but it does get for range, which we'll get into in the articulation segment, but he does have the same crotch piece, and then he 
does have these legs, which I'm not a big fan of these legs. You do get to sculpt the detail in the knee pads and pinless joints and everything. I just think that these legs look a bit stumpy. Kind of reminded me of the Fiend Elites and Ultimates we've seen in the past. But if you get into it here, I'm going to back this up a little bit so you can see these boots. Same boots here, but they did add the toe articulation and he does have the scorpions on the side. It's just, I don't know, man. I'm just not a big fan of these boots. There's like no ankle rocker and stuff. And these boots just don't look accurate to me. They look a bit stumpy like I'm talking about. But in terms of your articulation, he can look down really well because he is on a ball hinge. I've asked Mattel about this and I think, you know, if Mattel gets ball hinges, man, that would really improve their figures and posing and stuff. But he is going to be able to pretty much pose around exactly how you want him to. Arms go about above 90, kind of, at least on that. Yeah, I mean, he can go a little bit above 90. You can get the full rotation. You get the bicep swivel. You get the double jointed pinless arms, which are nice. He does have the butterfly joint, which can reach all the way across, which is just such a nice thing to see. I know some people don't like them, but I, I like them, man. I think that it does add a lot to the figure, which is nice. Ab crunch is pretty decent, I would say. You know, AEW figures have some of the best ab crunch that you'll see on wrestling action figures, for sure. They probably have the best ab crunch in the business right this moment, especially when you're dealing with Ultimates and Supremes. I think Supremes get a lot better of an ab crunch than an Ultimate Edition. But you are going to get all of this swivel and everything right here, diaphragm movement and all that. Leg popped off. That's good. That's actually the first time that's happened. But kicking forward, he can cook forward all right. Not too, too bad. He has the splits there. You get the thigh rotation. You get the double jointed pinless knee, which isn't too tight. It's like the perfect amount, I think. Boot swivel, no ankle rocker, really. And then he does have the toe pivot right there, the toe articulation and the feet go down and up. And I really do enjoy this sting. I just think the build isn't necessarily that build that you really want out of a sting. But at the end of the day, I do like what I'm seeing right here. But we're going to get into some Sting action figure comparisons. But I want to stand him up right before we get into those Sting action figure comparisons. Uh -oh. Now, for Sting figure comparisons, we do have the Supreme Edition in the middle and then the left to right. And this isn't even all the Stings we've seen, man. There's actually so many that it's absurd. But you have the Unmatched Series 2, the Unmatched Walmart Exclusive Series 2, Luminaries Collection, I think. It's like the Walmart Exclusive Chase version. The Amazon Exclusive 2-pack with Darby Allen. Then this is the San Diego Comic-Con Exclusive from 2023 that came with the coffin. And this is not all of them. We have an Unrivaled 13 Sting. We have a Shop AEW Sting. We have the one that came with the Ring Sting with the Yelling Head Sculpt. And I think... I think I have all of these things. I just don't have them loose. But they're all essentially the exact same. I mean, you're just getting like a long sleeve. This is the first singlet sting we've seen. And you can see that he sits a little bit shorter than the rest of them. And I don't know how you can really improve that. Maybe if you switched out the legs, you could probably make his legs a little longer and then switch the boots maybe. I've seen some cool fix-ups and things. I'll have to play around with that maybe on surgery. But this is definitely my favorite sting we've seen so far from AEW and Jazz Wears. And it's probably a little bit more accurate in the height department and whatnot. But one thing I do want to do is pop this head sculpt off and then put on just a standard sting head sculpt so you can see kind of what this looks like with his traditional makeup on there with a straight face just to kind of see you know what you think of that and that is not bad right there but again he kind of has that old man build or the older sting build instead of a you know more leaner muscular you know 90 sting or whatever but I still think that gets the job done I don't think you're gonna really hate that you know which is always a plus I think that this looks pretty damn good for the most part and then for another sting comparison we have the AEW and Match Series 1 Chase Darby Allen just for comparison and this looks pretty good up next to this one. Maybe Sting could be a little taller. I'm not entirely sure but I, I don't hate this, you know, if you want to pose these guys together. And then for your WWE Mattel comparison with the Supreme Edition Sting from AEW and Jazzwares, you have the Defining Moments WWE Elite Crow Sting on the left and then you have my custom Ultimate Edition Sting action figure on the right which is made of Mattel parts. And this is obviously a more era of Sting that we're looking for and we do have that Legacy Pack coming which we could probably mix and match different parts and stuff to create the perfect sting, but until we get that, this is kind of what we're left with. But it is a damn good sting. I'm enjoying the Supreme Sting a lot. Let me bump the exposure down a minute. I think that it'd probably give you a better look there. But yeah, I like this Supreme Sting. I'm having fun with it. But I think that about wraps up our AEW Supreme Collection Walmart exclusive Sting figure review. At the end of the day, I do enjoy the figure, but this figure is definitely a quote-unquote old man sting or near retirement style sting. If you look at the body mold, I don't think you're going to be able to really use this as a prime sting or some sort of late 90s sting or something like that. I don't think, you know, maybe you feel differently or maybe you can make a fix-up you like, but just experimenting with the figure, it's definitely the way the torso's built. It's kind of got that, you know, that that old, you know, that old strong look to it, but it's still a damn good figure, you know, and I do like the singlet. I love the accessories. The cloth goods jacket or robe is amazing, you know. The entrance trench coat is incredible. It feels really quality in hand as well. I am not sure if it stains. Again, they did include the little plastic 
wraps over the arms, so I don't really know if it's going to stain. I'm sure the t-shirt's absolutely stained. I, again, I can't really tell you if the jacket's going to stain, and I don't really know if you can wash it, so I, I, that's kind of difficult. I'm not entirely sure what you can do there, but the details are impressive. I really enjoy the leather coat or the trench coat. I love all the goods you get. The mask is really cool as well. Love the interchangeable head sculpts. The hands are cool. The bat is obviously something we've seen before. I think the legs are a bit stumpy, and there's some things here that I don't like about the build of the figure, but at the end of the day, it's still a good Sting figure, and I've had a lot of fun posing him around in the arena and doing different things with it. It's definitely the best Sting we've seen from AEW and Jazz Wears, and it'll probably be that way until we get that Legacy Pack, but I think that Legacy Pack is going to be kind of your primetime Sting that you can use in different eras and stuff like that. I just don't know if this is the one that can kind of capture that, but at the end of the day, with all that being said, it's still a damn good Sting. It's very fun. If you're a Sting fan, you're going to enjoy this figure. I did put one of the Unmatched Series 2 head sculpts on this, so that's what head sculpt you're seeing here. This head sculpt does not come with the figure, but, you know, I don't hate it. I like the screaming expression, the paint, you know, peeling off. I feel like my one head sculpt may have a little bit of a misprint, but at the end of the day, it's a damn good figure. It's very fun, and I'm glad that I grabbed it, and, it, you know, it lives up to the hype for the most part. You know, I like it a lot. It's been fun. It's all those different things, and I think you will also enjoy it if you're a Sting fan, so be on the lookout. It is Walmart exclusive. I guess you're either going to have to find it at your Walmart, or you're going to have to stumble onto the aftermarket, your Mercari's, your Ebay's of the world to get this figure, but... You can find it. It is hitting at different Walmart stores. I've seen people finding it in the wild, so maybe you can have the same luck. But at the end of the day, I think that the Crow Defining Moments is probably still the best Sting figure. The Ringside Exclusive is also damn good. Or, you know, if you were doing one of those fix-ups, I think my favorite Sting that you can actually make is going to be sort of a mixture between, what was it, the Hall of Fame Elite or something, and then you head swap it with that basic Mattel and do some different things. That's probably my favorite fix-up there. But... I still like this figure a lot, and this is a damn good sting. It feels good, all those different things. The upper torso does feel a little bit hollow, so that can kind of play tricks on you when you're posing them around, but at the end of the day, it's still a fun figure, and I had fun with it, and I'm glad to have this sting figure, man, and I look forward to the other stings. Hopefully, we don't have to wait too long on that legacy pack, but I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our Sting Supreme action figure review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below on this sting and everything else. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always. Thank you guys so very much. This Sting figure kicks all the A, and I think you will enjoy it. But that is going to wrap the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.